Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome to Purgatory, and today we're playing the Dreadringer in Splatoon 3. If you guys didn't know, the weapon has caught a buff recently with its ink consumption, along with the special on its kit, the Reef Slider got a buff to its invincibility and wind-up. Pretty much the start of the invincibility shield that you get when you start up the Reef Slider and continue on with it. The reason why we're talking about that is, after putting some time with it, do I think it got better? And pretty much in technicality, yes, it is better. It has gotten a lot better, and it does feel better to play. Is it good? Not really yet. I think the ink consumption buff is very nice, because now you can put two subs of Ink Saver Main on it. But other than that, the thing still feels kind of slow. Reef Slider is still very underwhelming. Suction Bomb is fine, but I feel like a different sub weapon would work would be better on this. I think maybe something along the lines of Angle Shooter might actually be pretty good for this weapon. There's a lot that could be adjusted with this kit, and I hope we get a new one here in the future. But other than that, I mean, I think it's a lot better. It, it actually is considerably better than it was before. The gameplays we got for you today were pack filled. Most of them are on the new map and they're a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if, if you're brand new to the channel. And let me know down in the comment section below. How do you feel about the Dreadringer buff? Are you Dreadringer main such as myself? Who I'm trying to be one but the weapon just needs a bit of adjustment. I definitely will say that it has been a lot better in Anarchy games and it has felt a lot better in a lot of situations and these gameplays I feel like are going to showcase that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. I love you all. Have an absolutely fantastic day.